First Minister, Mr. Chairman, elected representatives, members of our College Board, honoured fellows, distinguished guests, international guests, civic industry and GLQ partners, alumni, Team City, media, and of course, our cadet officers. A very warm welcome to you all and a heartfelt thanks for making the time out of your hectic schedule to be here for the official opening of our Riverside campus by the First Minister. As we meet here this morning, I'm sure that you will agree this is a truly outstanding, world-class campus with the wow factor. As you all know by now, the City of Glasgow College has worked extraordinarily hard since merger five years ago to redefine and to shape a new era of college education. Our college is now on the global stage and Glasgow now has a world-class college for a world-class city. This campus represents a 66 million pound investment in maritime education and training, marine engineering, science and technology, engineering and mathematics, and completes phase one of our amazing twin site super campus. This particular campus with some 100 learning spaces is about a fifth the size of the overall super campus footprint and will be home to 2,000 marine and engineering students and 250 staff. First Minister, I've been waiting such a long time to say our state-of-the-art Riverside campus has been completed exactly on time and within budget. However, we're not finished yet. When phase two completes next August, our overall campus footprint will actually be the size of some 10 football pitches or the size of three George squares. Both sites have been meticulously designed and future-proofed for the next 50 years to accommodate 40,000 students and some 1,200 staff. Indeed, some six million students are expected to study in the complete campus over its lifetime. First Minister, that is truly a nation-sized project. With college developments elsewhere in the UK, and indeed internationally, it won't have gone unnoticed to our major shipping companies that this new City of Glasgow College, finally replacing as it does our legacy Glasgow College of Nautical Studies, is making a bold statement of intent to lead the global maritime college community. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be clear. This seven-story atrium is the entrance to the most modern, the most technologically advanced, the most future-proofed maritime campus of all the 230 such colleges anywhere in the world. Glasgow is the European capital of ship management, and today it's the global capital of maritime education. Indeed, our college attracts students from 135 different countries. On this fine autumn morning, I am reminded of the words of the brilliant Scottish writer and engineer Robert Louis Stevenson who once said, you should not judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to paraphrase him at this milestone day, the seeds that we have sown here are already bearing fruit. For this is a world-class campus, which everyone here present from our shipping family to our extended college family can be proud to call their own. Distinguished guests, 
you have sensed how very proud and delighted we are to welcome you all here today. And indeed, I owe a huge debt of gratitude to many, many people. My short speaking slot today prevents me from naming you individually. But as I look around this amazing atrium, I know who you are and you know who you are. So a sincere thanks to each and every one of you. However, I would like to highlight the exemplary project leadership of my Vice Principal, Janice Carson. Janice, thank you. <clears throat> First Minister, today matters because colleges matter. Shipping matters. Colleges matter because they are far, far too often the unsung heroes of the tertiary sector in Scotland. They make a supersized contribution every day to the skilling and the upskilling of Scotland's young and not so young workforce. First Minister, I hope that when you have completed your tour of our campus this morning, that you will say that the City of Glasgow College is indeed making a major contribution to the renaissance of Glasgow's maritime and engineering heritage. Today also matters because shipping matters. Indeed, Scotland has some 35,000 people working across the maritime sector, contributing a vital £10 billion to the UK GDP. Finally, First Minister, Mr Chairman, distinguished guests, I passionately believe that we can and indeed have made a transformational difference with the opening of this state-of-the-art campus. Of course, time will tell just how significant that difference is. So in the meantime, can I leave you with the inspiring words of our college's motto, let learning flourish. First Minister, will you please ring in a new era for college education, for maritime education, for Glasgow and for Scotland? First Minister. That was good fun. I could have gone on ringing that bell for quite some time. I would recommend you have a shot of it before you leave today. Paul, thank you very much indeed for your inspiring words of introduction and welcome to this fantastic new campus. And I have to agree with you at the very outset, this building certainly does have the wow factor. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, decorated with as many people looking over each floor all the time, but I can tell you it is an absolutely fantastic sight to be looking at right now. Let's all of us here on the ground floor say a big hello to all of the people up at the top. <laughs> Friends, Scotland is, as Paul has just outlined, very, very proud indeed of our international reputation for educational excellence. And we're also rightly very proud of our reputation for excellence in shipping and in ma marine engineering. So for all of those reasons, and no doubt many, many other reasons, today is a very special day indeed. Here in the heart of the city of Glasgow, uh, if I may say so, in the heart of my very own constituency, in the city of Glasgow. We're opening world-class educational facilities for maritime education, marine engineering and science, technology, engineering and maths. And I want to join Paul in thanking and congratulating everybody, and I'm sure it amounts to a large, large number of people who has contributed 
to the design, to the vision and to the construction of this stunning campus. I also want to take the opportunity today to thank you as well, Paul, uh, for the leadership you have shown over a number of years now in driving forward the successful merger of the Glasgow College and then in leading the case for this new campus. I think you've done an outstanding job and today is a great tribute uh, to the vision that you have shown. <laughs> of course, this campus here today is part of a nationwide programme of investment in our colleges. Recent years have seen new or refurbished campuses at locations including Langside, which is just a couple of miles from here, Dundee and Angus and Forth Valley, the new Inverness College campus opened just a couple of months ago and the new Ayrshire College of course will open next year. Uh, and this City of Glasgow project, which is worth £228 million in total, is the biggest development of all uh, our college projects. The buildings here and at Cathedral Street, as Paul has just outlined, will be used by up to 40,000 students from more than 130 countries across the world. So this new campus represents substantial investment in the future of this college, in the future of Glasgow and, most importantly of all, in the future of our young people. And I think it's an investment that will prove in the years to, be, to come to be hugely worthwhile. Uh, the campus here at Riverside will help thousands of people every year to gain the knowledge, the skills and the qualifications they need to make the most of their potential. It will give people expertise in some of the key economic sectors of the future. We know, for example, that we need to encourage more young people, uh, may I say, including and in particular more young women, uh, to take up science, technology, engineering and maths. And there's no doubt that the facilities here and the approach taken by the college will help that to happen. This college will also have a huge impact on the economy of Glasgow, helping to ensure that local employers have the workers with the skills that they need. It will also help more people to stay in the city, to study here, to live here and to work here. Uh, and by doing that, it will ensure that Glasgow, uh, the city that did so much to pioneer advances in shipping in the 19th and 20th centuries will continue to be seen as a global leader for maritime education and engineering. So this is a day for great celebration. Uh, this is a wonderful physical facility. It really is outstanding uh, and stunning to look at. But much more important than that in the years to come will be what happens in this building. The provision of education and of skills in a sector that is so important to Glasgow and Scotland's history, but also, I believe, so important to Glasgow and Scotland's future. So it's a great pleasure for me to open uh, this campus today, uh, knowing that it will provide world-class facilities in a world-class college and bring such huge benefits to students, to the city and to our country as a whole. So thank you very much for giving me the privilege now to say uh, what I'm going to uh, say with great pride. I declare the new Riverside campus of the City of Glasgow College well and truly open. Thank you. Thank you.